Okay, babes, welcome back to Slip Slip Slim Makeup Tricks. My name is Jeannie, and if you are new here, hi, hello, and welcome. We do all things beauty over here, including BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm Premium, Ipsy, and the Glam Bag Plus. Lots of different makeup hauls, makeup looks, makeup and skincare reviews, and monthly giveaways, which are huge lots of makeup and skincare, all high-end, well-known products. If you're wondering what my giveaways look like, you could check out the June or Christmas in July giveaway. And my August giveaway is right around the corner. I do have a huge huge stockpile of amazing products ready for that giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed. I would love it if you would join this beauty family. Hit the subscribe button down below and then the notification bell. It will let you know every time I upload something new and that way you won't miss out on anything especially the giveaways. I also do little mini giveaways in between my huge monthly giveaways. Now for today's video I did receive my BoxyCharm Premium for the month of August. The Premium box is a $35 monthly subscription box. You are guaranteed six to seven full-size beauty products within the box. Did I say it cost $35? I think I did. It's $35. And the value that you get within the box is well above that. Now, I do get both the base and the premium box. I'm still waiting on my base box for the month of August. Within the premium, you are able to customize two of the items that you receive. So I already know what two of the items within this box are. Now let's just jump right in with the choice items. We were able to choose the Wishful Honey Balm like moisturizer. Um, I, I think this is like a Huda Beauty's line. I'm, I might not be correct on that, but I think it is. Um, let me know in the comments down below if I'm right or wrong, you guys. Um, but this product does retail for $49. So right there, we are already over what I paid for, for the, excuse me, for the box. Um, I absolutely love skincare. I have literally become obsessed with it lately. You should see my collection. It is a little bit worrisome. <laughs> but this is what the packaging looks like. Super pretty. It's got holographic writing and then a really pretty pur purple color. I have not used it. I just received it today, but I do know that it smells really nice and relaxing. It has a lavender smell to it. So I'm really excited to give this a shot. I'm totally into my skincare right now. I do have a lot of things that I'm using at the moment. So I think I may kind of like hold off on trying it yet because I have a whole new CBD skincare um, line that I'm using right now. It was actually sent to me through Kay's CBD Skincare. Um, I actually just did a review uh, video on it. If you want to check it out, I will link that video in the description box below. If you check and it's not down there, I will be uploading the videos at the same time. So the only reason it would not be in the description box below is that it had not completed uploading yet. But um, if you're interested in checking it out, then just check back and then check the description box at a little bit of a later time. And eventually it will be there where you could click on it and check out that video if you want. But um, moving on to the next choice item, I did choose the Vesca Beauty Soft Skin Radiant Skin Primer and Luminizer. Now, I am a primer freak. My whole top drawer of my vanity is primers. <laughs> so I love when I can try out a new primer in the subscription boxes. This is the packaging kind of basic packaging. Let's check out. I have not used it yet. Let's check out the formula. So it actually comes out white looking like lotion a little bit. No scent. Let's rub it in. Oh, it does give a really pretty luminosity. Look at that. I, I already know I'm going to like this. Now, I always use multiple primers. I will use one to fill in my pores and fine lines, and then I will use another complexion perfecting like you know um type of primer and this would definitely be to me classified as a complexion perfecting primer definitely a beautiful luminosity there so yeah i'm super excited to have this and add it to the 200 that i have in the drawer <laughs> i just feel like i just could never have enough primers that's just me oh by the way that does retail for 30 dollars and moving right along, the next thing in the box I'm not thrilled about 
It is from Vior Hair Care, and it is the Rainforest Mist Flawless Finish Hairspray. Well, I don't use hairspray, so it does smell really good. I gave it a little spray. It smells like really coconutty and it, it really does smell really nice the only time I could really ever see me using hairspray is if I was maybe going to a wedding or an event and I had like curled my hair or something and I wanted to keep those curls in place I don't know I just I'm not a hairspray girl when I was in high school or something like that you guys remember when we would do our bangs with the big round brushes and they would be like that that's when like I would use hairspray not so much anymore, but it does smell really nice. And I really can't say for performance because I haven't used it. But I don't know. Maybe I'll get some use out of it. Maybe I won't. Maybe it'll sit on my bathroom counter until it expires. I really don't know. <laughs> that does retail for $28. That's an expensive freaking hairspray. Dang. Okay. Moving right along, the next product in the box is by Lux and Willow. This is the Phoenix Rose Court Vibrating Facial Massager. So you open it up and she looks like that. Now it does say you can use it with your favorite serums or moisturizers to maximize the benefits. So basically you stick a battery in it and it vibrates and you massage your facial skin with it. It does retail for $80, so that's interesting. I'm definitely interested now that I have it. Is it something that I would purchase? Probably not. Is it something that I was hoping to get in my box? Not really. But now that I have it, I'm kind of intrigued and I'll definitely give it a shot, see how it works. I'll incorporate it maybe into my nighttime skincare routine a couple nights a week and see what happens. You know, I mean, I've got it now, so we might as well use it, right? That does retail for $79.99, basically $80. So that's kind of a high ticket item. So I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Definitely. Again, not something that I would have necessarily picked, but I'm intrigued. Now, the next thing in the box is by Zoeva. I actually have, oh, I almost just fell. I have one of their lip plumpers right here that I absolutely love. I ended up picking this up on a BoxyCharm add-on or pop-up sale in the past. I absolutely love this. It's got a really, really thick gloss that lasts forever. It is kind of thick and a little bit sticky, you know, as far as the formula goes, but it lasts forever. And I do feel like I actually see my, like a difference in the plumpness of my lips when I use this. So I, I really do like that product. So this is the same company and this is the Powerful Lip Twist Lipstick. And... This is in the shade Raya. It looks to be a nude color, which I'm happy about. I've only just recently stepped outside of my comfort zone and started wearing a little bit of a bolder lip here and there, but I really do prefer really pretty pinks or just gloss or um, like a, a muted pink or nudes. So this is definitely a nude color. It is a little bit strange to be considered a lipstick. It looks more like a liner. Um, but this is the product. It's got a twist component and let's give her a swatch. Oh, wow. It actually feels super creamy. That is what the color looks like. So definitely a nude. I will definitely give this a try. Um, I love nudes and it does, the formula felt really creamy going on and it's a pretty color. So I will definitely check that out. Like I said before, I do love the one product that I have from them already. So yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. We'll give that a try. It does retail for $14. And the last item in the box, again, not too thrilled with, but it's by 
LaRousse Beauty, and we did get some brushes in, I believe, the premium box not too long ago. They were, like, super, super expensive brushes. In fact, I have one of them right here. Um, I think, like, for th the three that we got in the box, it was, like, something crazy, like $180 or $190 for the three brushes. That being said, I ended up loving the brushes. I, I really, really do like those brushes. They feel high quality. They're soft. They do a really good job, and I do enjoy those three brushes that we got from them in the past. Now, this um, retails for $24, and they are called Face Discs. And uh, basically, they are reusable makeup removers and face cleansers. And the reason that I'm just not thrilled about this is because I just got the Lux and Willow reusable makeup removers in my box like just like two months ago like what's up with all that like I want makeup and skincare and a couple maybe tools here and there brushes and stuff like that but like to get two things of makeup removers within the matter of like a couple months is not thrilling to me now with that being said I do like what I've received from this brand in the past and these are really big and they do feel really nice they do feel like really good quality they have like a sponge in the middle where it feels squishy and then they are big and fluffy let me see if i can get you a good picture of that so it does come with this white one this gray one and then a black one and you can see they do look really, really nice. Just not the most exciting thing to get in like a subscription box. Um, but I'll definitely give them a try now that I have them. The same with the facial vibrator. <laughs> so all in all, I'll just be honest, not my favorite premium box. Not the worst either. So I'm, I'm borderline happy with it. It's, it's just not my favorite. I think like... I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I've gotten spoiled. I don't know. But I do want to hear in the comments down below, did you guys shop pop-up? Were you guys happy? You guys, I lost my shit on pop-up this month. I have about 50 items coming. I lost my shit. I got so much stuff, but I am so excited to get my goodies. I've got so many amazing products on the way, and I just kind of feel like at the end of the day, looking at the situation, I would be spending money on makeup anyways. I might as well buy it at a discount, right? I mean, I don't know, or maybe I'm just trying to justify, probably trying to justify, but either way, I got a ton of stuff coming from pop-ups. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get my hands on those goodies. And in case you were wondering, the total retail value of this box was $223. Again, I paid $35 for it. So even though definitely the hairspray is a miss, these two items are kind of like, eh, I'll use them, but not, not like super, super excited. Um, I did really think that this was nice. I thought I had a creamy formula. I'm excited to wear it on my lips. Definitely excited to give the Wishful Honey Balm a try. And I love primers. And it did leave a beautiful, luminous finish on my hand. So I'm excited to check out the Vesca Primer. So that's it for the BoxyCharm Premium for me for the month of August. And that's it. Hopefully I'll get my premium soon. Um, I am going to jump off and film my Ipsy and Glam Bag Plus for the month of August. And keep your eye out for the August giveaway. It is right around the corner. I've got a lot of great products and somebody's going to win them all. So it might as well be you. And until then, till I see you guys in my next video, I love you. Stay safe, stay beautiful, and I'll see you soon.